Not every set has a minimum element, but if a set of real numbers, say A, does have a minimum element, which we might call M, that minimum element is the infimum of the set, and that's what we'll prove today. A similar result is that the maximum of a set is the supremum of the set, and I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson where we prove that. That proof is very similar to the proof we'll do today, and they're both very straightforward, so I definitely recommend giving them a try before watching the lessons. So if our set of real numbers A has a minimum element called M, how can we prove that M is the infimum? Well, remember what the infimum of a set is. It's the greatest lower bound. So to prove that the minimum M is indeed the infimum of the set A, we need to show that M is a lower bound and that no other lower bound is greater than M. That would prove that M is is the greatest lower bound, and thus the infimum. We immediately are able to conclude that M is a lower bound of A by definition of minimum element. So since M is the minimum of A by definition, that means M is an element of A, and M is less than or equal to every element of A. And it's this second part, that M is less than or equal to every element of A, that is the definition of a lower bound. So so M is a lower bound of the set A. Having established that M is a lower bound, all that remains is to prove that there is no greater lower bound. A quick proof by contradiction seems like a good candidate for that. Let's suppose for the sake of contradiction that there is a lower bound of A that's greater than M. So we say suppose for contradiction, SFC, that there exists a real number X so that X is less than or equal to every element of the set A, that means that X is a lower bound of A, and x is greater than m. So we're supposing that there is a lower bound that's greater than m. This almost immediately gives us a contradiction because here we have x is greater than m. However, in assuming that x was a lower bound, we assumed that x was less than or equal to every element of a and m is an element of A, so that means X is less than or equal to M, and there we go. We have that X is less than or equal to M, and X is greater than M, that's a contradiction. Thus, there cannot be a lower bound of A that's greater than M, and so M is the greatest lower bound. So we've proven that M, which is the minimum of our set A, is the greatest lower bound of A, and thus it's the infimum of A by definition. Shake hands with